Complex Regional Pain Syndrome. It used to be called RSD, Reflex Sympathetic Dystrophy. It's complex Regional Pain Syndrome, also now is known as CRPS, is a complex neurological pain syndrome. I think as a psychiatrist, it is important to note that CRPS is a, is a real medical disorder. It's not saying that the pain is because you have psychological issues. It's a real medical disorder and we know clearly how to diagnose that. So when I see somebody as a psychiatrist looking at sort of psychological pain management, I'll do a number of things. The first is teaching people skills that they can use both to decrease their pain levels as well as lessen the stress that m for many people comes along with having chronic pain. So I'll teach people breathing exercises, visualization, for example, imagining they're at a beautiful beach and the warmth often helps. Guided imagery is a third psychological treatment that I'll teach somebody. The idea of imaging something, imagining a picture, and then in some ways connecting that to their pain levels. So a common one I'll use is a sunset, going from bright reds and oranges, high pain levels, down to slowly the, the colors get softer, get less severe, and as they imagine that sun setting, their pain levels can sometimes go down. We take an approach that utilizes tools that I haven't been exposed to before. Um, one of them is uh, uh, meditation. Uh, I'm not your type of meditation guy, uh, but if, uh, if I'm in a lot of pain at a particular time of the day, I, I go in and I do a five to ten minute um, vision uh, type of relaxation technique. I think the, the brain retraining part of treatment of CRPS I think is, is crucial for a number of reasons. Um, there's very few treatments that can get at the underlying changes that happen in the brain with CRPS that can really in a sense reverse the brain changes and the pain goes down because of that. So the components of brain retraining, it's a number of steps that there's an assessment in the office of what stage would be appropriate for a patient to start in. And after they start, going through the steps, um, some people are able to go fairly quickly that the exercises don't cause increased pain. Some people really have to stick with one step for quite a while. Um, the first step that I would have if I assess that patients were not ready to start with mirror therapy, the last stage, the recognized program, the middle stage, the first stage is are they able to watch somebody else do movements or slowly do movements themselves. Once they were okay with that, that that didn't cause any increase in pain, I would move up to the next step. And that is graded motor imagery. This is a, one of the programs that is most commonly that I use, a recognized program. And that component is a series of steps that somebody would do, usually on the computer, of looking at pictures, identifying if they're left or right, doing those pictures. For example, if somebody had pain in their hand from CRPS, they would be looking at pictures of hands, first identifying left and right, then imagining putting their hand in the same position as they're seeing on the computer. And the last stage would actually be moving their own hand. The idea of using the mirror that somebody places their injured arm, hand, leg behind the mirror and is really looking at reflections of their non-symptomatic side moving. And the brain sort of pays attention to it's seeing normal movement, it's seeing comfortable movement, and slowly working through this, there's a decrease in pain. And we do know in particular with the mirror treatment that doing this exercise results in changes in the brain, and as those changes happen, the brain is generating less pain signals and somebody's pain goes down. We're getting, we're sort of accessing the brain through the visual system, so it's just watching this over and over. I'm basically taking my hand and trying to retrain it again to feel as though what it what it was a year ago. 
And that's not to say it takes away the pain 100%, but what it does is it gives me hope. So it's a great program. It's, it takes a lot of work from the patient's side, but it's not medication, it's not invasive treatments, and it can really, research has shown that it's very effective for some patients with CRPS.